Baidu has ramped up its testing of unmanned cars. Earlier this month, Beijing authorities gave the Chinese tech giant the green light to test driverless vehicles, and that's without any safety officer behind the wheel on the open road. Instead, they'll be observing from the passenger seat. And this marks the next phase in the company's development of driverless cars. It's also the first time that the Chinese capital has granted such a permit. Activation is simple. It only requires a simple push of a button. But such are the safety requirements in this nascent industry. Testing is paramount. Before an unmanned vehicle can even take the stringent open road test, they are required to clock up more than 30,000 kilometers in other open road tests. To pass, authorities have set a very high bar. It's far more rigorous than the test for human safety officers. It contains 22 subjects under five categories, and each of them needs to pass 40 times consecutively. The vehicles being tested this time are capable of making emergency responses and are installed with remote operation programs. They can adjust their driving speed depending on circumstances while maintaining the traditional rules of the road. Safety officers only interfere in certain circumstances, such as when the unmanned vehicle's progress is compromised because of a serious violation by another car. Safety comes first. Second, we want the passenger to feel more comfortable, instead of going through sudden acceleration and deceleration like this. Third, we want to make the vehicles fast and convenient. Regulations require that vehicles keep their speed below 60 km per hour in urban areas. But actually, there's no question of driving at 120 km per hour for our vehicle during the high-speed tests. One Beijing official said the whole process was greatly improving regulations in self-driving. Beijing's move to ramp up the road tests of unmanned vehicles can provide data references for legislators and regulation makers to better support the promoters of the entire industry. Unmanned open road testing requires significantly higher reliability of autonomous driving systems, while it also costs a cost for autonomous vehicle operations. Experts say it marks a key breakthrough in the development of unmanned driving. Zheng Chuying, CGTN. Let's look a bit more closer at the development of this industry in China. Well, it's maybe not as new as you might think. The country's research into intelligent robots in the 1980s spawned its first truly driverless car in 1992. It was called Autonomous Testbed One. In 2015, the Yutong passenger bus became the first passenger bus to pass an autonomous driving test in China. The same year, Baidu's unmanned cars were the first in China to pass a road test which included open roads, ring roads, and highways. And the following year, the government opened a platform that mainly focuses on intelligent and connected vehicles.